Welcome back to Talks Forum, and as you can see from the little pile sitting in front of me, we're going to be talking about uh, food and more particularly about uh, organic food and uh, how uh, there is an organization, a company here in Orange County, that specializes in helping people uh, grow this. We have with us the co-founders of Grow Organic. The president is Karen Kinsella, and the uh, co-founder and vice president is Jennifer DeWitt. Welcome to both of you. What exactly is Grow Organic? We're a company that is focused on helping people grow food in their own yards. Um, whether they have a balcony to grow on or a large backyard, we can help them grow something. We want everyone to grow something of their own in their yard. Well, you know, anyone can go to the store and buy some seeds, keep a little pot. So what is it right. that, that, you, that you specialize? We have a particular system that we follow, and so we get uh, more harvest, we get more produce um, than a conventional gardener would. Um, we, we use different methods that help us produce even more um, uh, fruits and vegetables than, than normal. Uh, we did a lot of research before we started the company in order to uh, bring the best to people and that's what we do. Mm -hmm. Jennifer, how did you get involved in this? We used to work together in a, yeah. in a previous company, and yeah. so. Yeah. So why? I mean, I, I, I know a little bit about background. You started some other companies in, in your career. But why did you end up wanting to hop on something like this? The, my passion comes from organic food. Mm -hmm. I, I I eat organically, and I have been eating organically for the past few years. I wasn't growing my own food until about uh, two years ago. Oh, really? Um, but I've always eaten organically because of some health issues that I have. And so my passion is trying to get the word out that you can eat organically, um, inexpensively, because you can grow it at home. Um, and how important it is to eat organically, because I really believe with all my heart that there, uh, there's a real positiveness about, about that, um, not just for health issues, but also uh, you start thinking differently about eating, about food. Um, when you bring it to schools, it really helps uh, the kids start making better choices about what they're eating. We're going to be talking about some, some things that you guys are doing in, in the schools, um, but I wanted to kind of bring it back to, to growing up. You know, here in South Orange County, we're not known for our huge yards. Well, there's a few around. But for the most part, you know, we have kind of small yards and stuff. Do you, can we still grow things this big in a, in a small yard? Yeah, I, I would say our most popular size planter is a four by eight, and so in a four by eight planter, producing that, and so. Yeah. So, so you, let's talk a bit more about that. So, one of the things you do is you suggest that people actually create a, a specific planter for this. Yeah, we do raised planters. This way, we have control over the soil. You know, you don't know what's in your soil, and now you have the proper nutrients. Um, there's no weeds. Um, you don't have to bend over about your back hurting, and yeah. so it, it makes it. And it's pretty. A lot of people want to look pretty too. So, <laughs> um, and now you talked about all the research. What sorts of things did you look into to figure out how this all works? At the beginning, we hired horticulturists and consultants and uh, botanists and different people that could help us put together a system. Um, because my idea was, in order to spread this organic word of ours <laughs> as quickly as possible, was to franchise the the business mm -hmm. and so we are bringing in team members as franchisees all over the country that can spread this word that much quicker so they're out talking to people we're out talking to people and you know it, it's helping to hopefully um, get community together um, all of our franchisees buy locally they uh, uh, build their planters locally um, so and we do that because we we're really trying to uh, bring community back together and and support local business. It's interesting uh, that you're using the franchise system because I think when most of us think franchise, we think of things like old oh, McDonald's, and, right? You know, right? The, the, the kind of king of franchise, and that's sort of the opposite the in opposite, terms of the yes. output of what. But what there's a lot of green franchises now. There's a lot out there, and a lot of people coming from corporate America into the green industry, like I did, and um, I really 
think that it's becoming something that people are liking because it's helping people and they're able to make money at it. And that's, that's my forte, is helping people start businesses. And I mean, I, I'm, I'm an okay gardener now. I can, yeah. I can get some produce, but, uh, but my forte is, is business. So let's talk about, you know, for somebody to do this sort of stuff, how much, how much work does it take for somebody normally to, to come up with that kind of uh, produce there? Well, we make it simple because we offer maintenance programs. And so if our customers are busy working in the, or they have no idea where to start, we can maintain it for them. Uh -huh. Uh, or we could help educate them when we come out until they want to take it over and do it on their own. And so um, it's uh, fairly simple once they get it down. You know, it's just rotating it, changing the seasons out. And so. Yeah, I was going to ask about that because obviously, you know, different times of year, you know, especially if you're, if you're not bringing in fruit or vegetables from another country or something like that, there are specific seasons. So this is something that you can do year round. Yes, we, we in, in Orange County, it's 12 months. We can grow 12 months out of the year here. And it, it, you have to start eating seasonally again. Mm -hmm. That's what we, we really want to focus going back to basics. And basics means that you well, eat seasonally. Yeah, talk about that. Because you know, we live in a world where you can go in and find almost any kind of fruit or vegetable almost Anytime. any time of year and so we're sort of conditioned to that but that's not how things grow no. I guess. Yeah. no and so when you find something in the supermarket out of season you know it's probably not grown here it's probably grown out of the country um, so it traveled a long ways to get here and it probably has been off of the vine for a, quite a while yeah, it, it, yeah, beyond that what, what's what's wrong with with you know buying fruits or vegetables that have you know, travel to great Well, this is, the, the, I think that we're doing the public an injustice by telling them, especially like parents, to feed your children fruits and vegetables. Feed them th these types of meal. Here, here's the structure we want you to feed your kids. Mm -hmm. But I think you're doing them a disservice because you're not giving them all the information. Um, you can't just go out and buy just any fruits and vegetables anymore because um, there's harmful chemicals in them from the way that they were grown. So uh, the fertilizer, the chemical fertilizers, the, the genetically modified plants and um, seeds out there, you know, we need to get this information to the public so they can make a decision of their own. So you talked about on one end people can come in and, and have you guys do everything, maintain everything. On the other side of things, what's available for people? And um, we have a free service. Um, we have Grow Organic Granny, and people could email Granny um, questions, photographs, and um, Granny emails them back and, and helps them. <laughs> so we just want to help people no matter you know what their budget is. We just want to educate the public. We want to help them get them growing, even if it's just one plant. Um, really, that's our our goal. So are there specific seeds that you're? I mean, there's some. Pretty spectacular stuff here. Uh, yeah, yeah, are these are these special seeds, or is this the way that this they one? Use? These are all uh, uh, non-GMO seeds. We don't that? Okay, uh, genetically that. modified. Okay. They're not genetically modified seeds. They're they're heirloom seeds. Wow. And so we we grow all of our we use organic um, plants and um, in our, all of the garden is organic. The soil, the compost, the seeds, the plants. Um, and this, these are from a, a Three Sisters garden, um, which is a Native American garden. It's, it's a round garden with squash around the outside and corn and beans in the middle. And they planted them that way in order for the little animals not to come in and eat their corn. Uh -huh. So this is from a Three Sisters garden, which is something that we do for schools because here in Southern California, especially in Orange County, they focus a lot on uh, the Native Americans that were in mm -hmm. the area. And so this is a good way to bring it into the curriculum. Well, let's talk about that and what you do for the schools. This is not just something you're selling out to people. This is something you, you provide to, to the schools right. as well. Right. And we can do things for schools. I, I always say, please contact us first before you start because we can do it. For, we can get you going correctly where there will be a lot less maintenance involved um, if we can talk to the school beforehand because our planters are weedless. So there's no weeding involved. Um, if you can do that, the, the labor involved is obviously a lot less. Mm -hmm. So we we um, can we try to start with the schools and help them get get going, make it a turnkey operation so that they're not 
uh, taking too much time out of their day and then they give up and <laughs> you know, right and so so uh, we really try hard to get it all set up for them uh, regardless of their budget well, what's the, what, what's the benefit for the kids that if their their class is growing vegetables there's a lot of benefits there's huge benefits the other day I did a back to school night at a local school and brought in a bunch of vegetables, a bunch of cucumbers. The kids were walking around the school eating cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, how often do you see kids walking around eating fresh vegetables picked right out of a garden? It doesn't happen that often unless they grow it. Mm -hmm. When they grow it, they think... They're very it, proud yeah, of it. Yeah, they get yeah. very proud. And Jennifer takes care of a school in, in, down in, here, too, mm -hmm. and, and teaches at the school um, a full course in gardening. And that school is producing. They just they just harvested 102 ears of corn wow. for the school, mm -hmm. and they serve it to the kids. And they and the so the kids fight over it. Yeah. I mean, I just sit back with other teachers, and the kids are cutting tomatoes in half and uh -huh. picking the peas off. And Mr. Wait, can I eat this? I'm like, sure, just go wash it. You know, like, yeah. would you ever see kids do that? No, but that, they're so proud of it. I mean, that's, like, that's the their baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. That's the point. That's the goal. And, and do they go home, do you think, and in, in, insert gardens of their own? Oh, I've been approached by, I just don't even know how many families that, you know, are, were inspired by the garden. Okay. Um, and again, talk a little bit about how, we only have about a minute left here, how can um, schools get uh, the sort of the service from you? They just need to give us a call, email us, we'll give them information about where to get donations if they don't have enough of a budget to put the garden in. We can basically get consult with them enough for them to put it in for free. So uh, we really want to talk to them before they start. If they have a garden that's not growing now and they need help to get it going again, they can call us too. We don't force any of our products on the schools. We just want to get them to go. Very good. And the way that people can get more information is? Our website is www.groorganic.com. Grow organic without the W. Right. No W. No. <laughs> Very good. Well, thank you both for coming on tonight and uh, impressing us all with what you got there. <laughs> um, and if you missed that contact information, simply go to our website, which is www.cox3.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can email us at form at cox.com. And we invite you to join us next week. We're going to be taking a look again at uh, UC Irvine. This will be uh, part two of our special series of uh, what is going on at UCI these days. And until then, thanks so much for joining us tonight here on Cox Four.